Hey guys, in this video I will show you the worksheet for capacity control. This spreadsheet will help you in planning the capacity of your resources and it can be applied in the industry. It can also be used in the area of projects and manufacturing or engineering, etc. In this approach, I will give an example of the application in an industry of jib crane. So here I will simulate an industry where you have some process like cutting, welding, assembling, and so on. It is important to point out that this spreadsheet will be efficient if your process has a duration in hours. For example, a welding process that will last 6 hours, 12 hours, 10 hours. This spreadsheet has efficiency in this control. Now, if your processes are very short, for example, if they take minutes, then it loses a little of its accuracy, so it's great for longer processes. So, first, here is the menu. We will take a look at definitions. Here in the settings, you can work with up to 10 sectors or 10 resources from your factory. In this case, we have six sectors. That would be the sector of cutting, welding, inspection, painting, and assembling. I will define what is the efficiency of these sectors. They can vary from 0 to 100%. I put an 85% margin that is a number very close to the real one, and here are the hours. The spreadsheet allows you to work up to three shifts and the hours that each shift will do. So here, I will say that I only have one administrative shift of nine hours, and I will go back to the beginning. Defining here what are the sectors of the company, let's take a look here at the resources. In this option of resources, I will put the amount of resources, can be people or production cell, that work in each department out of those I informed earlier. Here I have a scale that goes from January 1st to the end of the year. The spreadsheet is meant to be used for an annual planning, from January 1st until December 31st. And here I can adjust my resources considering the period in which I took vacations, period in which I took a hiring perspective. Let's go back to the home page. Once I set the resource and set the number of hours per shift, I can look at availability. Availability is an automatic calculation that the spreadsheet will do considering the production of hours I have available for the shift. The amount of resources in the industry times the efficiency I have already set before. So, these would be effective hours that I have for my production. So, for each day, for each sector, I will have here this table of available hours that will be used on Capacity Planner. Now, let's take a look at the route. This part is very important. It's where you define the manufacturing route of your product or your projects. So, I'll add a new route clicking on New. The spreadsheet will list here my resources that I put at the beginning. I'll define an ID for this product and a description. The first day of this project, how many hours will I spend on cutting? I can put here an example of 6 hours with cutting. On the second day, I will spend 10 hours on welding. On the third day, I can say I'll spend 3 hours on inspection and so on. So here, I put the total hours distributed by sector, and in which moment of my production it will occur. In total, it will take 43 hours to manufacture this jib crane. Returning to the Capacity Planner, I can add a new product. I will navigate here at the bottom, and I will insert a new one, as if it were a new sale. So, I can put here the sales number, I can write customer name. So then, the spreadsheet has already set up the hours I have set back there and already allocated up there. But I need to define what is the start date of my project, the beginning of production. Let's say it will start on January 13th. Notice that there in the hour table, these columns in gray represent Saturday and Sunday. I will set the beginning of this project for January 13th and it will automatically relocate the hours. Notice that it has already allocated up there the capacity of each resource. It has already made the redistribution of the hours by resource already. So, every time you set the starting date, it will show the days of the year. So, if I want to, for example, 
move these hours that are meant for Saturdays to Monday, realize that you need to move it two days. So I'll have to add two days to 13 and it will set for the 15th day. That's how you can skip holidays, your factory's maintenance recess, or Saturday and Sunday. On overtime section, you can simulate how many hours I will need to meet a future demand. The link will be in the description box. I hope you enjoyed it.